What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 2 of the SFTP with Python tutorial video. In this video we're going to be discussing how to actually put a file up on your server uh, using Python. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is import py sftp as just sftp. And that's the only thing we have to import actually and that's pretty much it for the rest of this video series. And uh, so you guys are probably like, what the heck man, you may just download Paramico and PyCrypto. Well, Paramico is a dependency of PySFTP and PyCrypto is a dependency of Paramico. So they're all kind of bundled into this single import pretty much. So the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and define our function. And this is going to be define SFTP example. And I always like to put everything in a nice sexy try uh, and accept loop here. So branch string E. And what we're going to be uh, trying is we're going to first establish our connection. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is say s equals sftp dot connection with a capital C. And in here you've got three parameters, host, username, and password. And you can also put a port in there, but for sftp you're not going to really need the port. For If you were connecting via ssh, you would need the port, which is most likely to be 22. Uh, but you can find out also on your server. But we're not doing SSH, we're doing SFTP host equals. And this would be the IP address to your website or your actual website address. So like for me, we're going to be doing this with my H Kinsley website. So hkinsley.com will be the host. But there's also an IP address that you connect, could connect to as well. The next parameter is going to be a uh, username. And I'm going to leave this just kind of empty. Oh, I'll put user in there. just. Or something. Uh, I'm not going to fill those in on video. And password equals pass. And so anyway, whatever your username and password are, that's what you want to put in there. Uh, if you don't even know, like if you have a SSH, let's say, well, if FTP is installed after, uh, like on most VPSs, it'll give you like your root uh, username and password, or it'll give you the same SSH usernames and passwords. Um, but it just kind of depends on your installation of FTP. Some, some, uh, well, most VPSs it, aren't even going to come with FTP installed. Like you'll have to install that yourself. So if you have no idea, you might want to find out if you even have FTP. Uh, and then finally, any like most, I've never seen like a web hosting company that didn't have, or like a legit one. I guess like I don't know, like Forum Motion. I don't think they come with like FTP, but. You know, like GoDaddy and HostGator and all these kind of companies, they all have FTP already installed. So if you have like something like that, uh, you can use this. Whereas like sometimes they don't have SSH um, capabilities for you. So, or they just don't allow SSH. Anyway, make sure you've got FTP installed. And in a few minutes, I'll be talking about another issue with FTP, um, usually if, if you're on a VPS. But we'll get to that in a minute. So now that we've done that, we're going to want to say a uh, remote path and this will be where is the file going to go right and for this you have to give that full path so in our case it'll be var don't forget that first forward slash www html and then we're going to want to just put it at example.txt so so this example file will be at hkinsley.com slash example.txt now the next thing we want to specify is the local path. So where is this uh, file? And let me just bring up that file for you guys. Let's see here. There we go. Uh, so this is the file here that we're going to put up. Let me bring it up. And it just says, whoa, examples are awesome. And so that's our file. And it's located on desktop, syntax, lessons, SSH. Even though this is not an SSH tutorial. Anyway. Um, so the local path is c colon slash, um, actually, <laughs> uh, the script is in the same directory, so I'm just going to do a nice sexy example.txt like that. You could also give the full path, but always check your remote path, because <laughs> the other thing is example.txt, uh, and in fact, let's call it, well, no, let's do the example, I guess. That's unlikely to roll over something, but... Keep in mind that this will rewrite anything that you put there, right? 
So like on most FTP stuff, like if you click and drag something in there and it's already like a file exists with that name, it's going to be like, are you sure you want to do that? Whereas here, there's going to be no, are you sure? And if you're used to like running commands on like SSH and stuff, there's very few like fail safes for idiots. So, so be really careful. Uh, make sure you really check this full HTML path. Make sure you didn't, you know, try to create a new directory or put a file in here that you should never have put, etc. So once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do is f dot put, and from here you specify the local path, remote path. Easy, easy, easy. Finally, the last thing you want to do, just like when you open files, you don't want to close that connection. So you've closed that connection. Now we'll go up here like this, make this a nice pretty looking script, SFTP example, run it, right? So uh, make sure you filled in all this stuff. What I'm going to go ahead and do is, um, let's see here, let me make sure everything looks good. I'm going to put this stuff way down here. So I can run it, and I'm going to edit my my information into here, and then we'll uh, we'll see how it works. All right, so let's run this and figure out what uh, typos we've made. So save it. Yep, run it. Let me drag this over real quick. And as long as it said nothing, <laughs> I guess, um, then you you've succeeded. If you got an error, then you have not succeeded. So just to make sure, let's go ahead and test and see if we did indeed uh, succeed here. So let me bring over a tab. And I'm just going to pop to H. Kinsley here. And we'll bring over this sexy mug here. hkinsley.com slash example.txt. Sure enough, there's our file on the server done completely with this um, awesome Python script. Oops, made that full screen. So now that that's done, let me close out of this, and let's talk about some of the errors that you might have received. Um, probably the most popular error is this bad authentication error. So let me just make, I'll just make some comments here and uh, use this as a bit of a notepad here. <clears throat> Move the mic a little bit. Now, uh, so you might get this error that, you know, basically authentication, bad authentication error. And this could be either you have an incorrect password or your server is not allowing password authentication. So some hosting uh, companies are going to do this in the name of security or they're going to suggest to you that you do it in the name of security when you uh, are creating your uh, server. And it might just be in the form of like a checkbox and then they do it or you might have actually run the command and just forgotten. But uh, regardless, sometimes it's not allowed uh, to connect via um, just simply a username and password because like kind of the idea of SSH is that not only do you have a username and password but you also have an encrypted key right um, well not an encrypted key you have a key though and um, so not only would they need the username and password they'd also need a key but um, I've never like, and the idea is so they can't connect via SSH, right? But I've never really had a hosting company that did not, that one, allowed FTP or SSH, and two, did not, um, not allow a, um, either file transfer on, like all you needed to do was log into the, the hosting company website or even better, an SSH client that all you needed was to log into the hosting company website. So I don't really see the, a huge issue here unless you're running a web server off of your own um, your own server, right? So if you followed maybe my uh, Raspberry Pi web server tutorial, that might be a scenario where it makes sense and it w really would be added uh, security to not allow password authentication. But anyway, if you're getting this error and you're positive that your username and password are correct, then um, what you're going to want to do is, uh, and, and also make sure you have FTP actually installed on your server, but um, the next thing that you're going to need to do is modify and or possibly uncomment the password authentication variable in the following. So uh, open up SSH and do your, you know, sudo nano, um, I guess I could type it out, sudo nano 
etc ssh sshd underscore config and you'll open that up and then you'll kind of scroll down I think it's like halfway through the file and there's a, a variable that is password authentication and it's either going to be like you know it'll be like this password authentication yes and it'll be like commented out and then the other one will be password authentication no or you can just delete the current one and put just yes or delete no and put yes whatever just make sure the password authentication variable says yes and it's not uh, following a pound sign you know so make sure it looks like that pound sign is, is commented out so um, so that's that and if you also if you want to use a key um, you can also run the SSH key generator uh, or SSH key gen so like this oops <laughs> SSH you know you can run that command right um, on your local machine and uh, that'll generate that a proper like RSA algo key but again I'm not really going to cover that in these videos Paramico has some really really cool stuff that you can do with SSH though so um, if you wanted to use Paramico and you want that key generated and then because like also Paramico is going to allow you to run um, you know SSH commands because Paramico is SSH what we're dealing with right here is just Pi F or is just SFTP so secure fire file transfer protocol so that's going to conclude uh, putting a file up to the server in the next video we're going to be talking about how to get a file from the server so with that Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and the subscriptions, and until next time.